Hi, this is Chris Gold with Geeks On Tour, and this tutorial video is about using Zoom online meetings and scheduling, how to schedule a meeting. There are several places where you can schedule a meeting for Zoom, but I want to show you on the website, the zoom.us. They refer to it as the web portal. Make sure you're logged in with your account because this is the place where all of the settings are, the default settings, and I want to show you just a few of those. So if you click on settings over on the left hand side, notice you can scroll down. There are a ton of them. They are in groups listed on the left hand side. I just want to show you a couple of them. First, join before host. So this allows participants to join the meeting before the host arrives. The default I have off because I don't want people to be able to enter the room until I'm there generally. The next setting is requiring a password when setting scheduling new meetings. By default I want every meeting to have a password. But there are some times that I want to give people a link and not make them remember a password. That is called embed password in meeting link for one click join and my default has that on. The next setting is screen sharing. Who can share? I set the default to be host only, but you can change that once you're in the meeting and let other people share. And last is waiting room. Waiting room. Attendees cannot join a meeting until host admits them. By default, I have that on. Now to schedule a new meeting, you click on meetings and then schedule a new meeting. I'm going to make a meeting for my book club. And our next meeting is next Tuesday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Now I want to make it clear the purpose for putting a date and a time is just to be able to enter it on your calendar to, for people to know when to expect the meeting. But as far as starting the meeting and ending the meeting that does not happen automatically. You have to start it and you can start it at any time. It doesn't have to be the scheduled time. This happens to be a recurring meeting. We meet every month and it's on the second Tuesday. And you can tell it how many meetings to schedule. I'm just going to say four for right now. Here is where require meeting password is entered. That's by default. I could uncheck it if I want, but I do think passwords are a good thing. I'm just going to make it be sunny day. If I left it alone, the password that was in there I think is my account password. So you should type something else in even though you can't see it. Now this is a group, a small group of friends. If somebody gets there before me, I want them to be able to join before host and I do not want them to get stuck in a waiting room. So you can override those defaults in each meeting. And now I save and notice there's a button right there to start this meeting. I do not have to wait until the next scheduled time. There is the meeting ID. People could get there by the meeting ID but then they would have to know the password or here is the link that has the password embedded in it. I can just copy that link and send it to my friends and they now have the ability to just click the link and they're in the meeting. And that's how you schedule meetings. If I look at the meeting screen now you'll see that those it has been scheduled seven times and I can edit individual times if I wanted to change any of the settings.